Hi, I'm Ellen. Today I'm going to be showing you how I set up my digital bullet journal and I am setting up October. Yeah, I'm going to walk you through how I bullet journal on my iPad and some of the different things I've been doing. I've been using my iPad to bullet journal for about a year now and I really enjoy it so I hope you enjoy seeing as well. All right, we're gonna get started now. Um, my iPad is out of frame, but down there. I'll have a screen recording up here as well so you see what's going on, but if I am not looking at the camera, that is why. Um, I usually start off by doing a typical monthly calendar view. I'll go on my phone calendar app and just make sure I get all of the numbers and the days of the week right. <laughs> um, so we will start off with that going for a little bit of a different look this month. If you saw my setup last month, I've done a similar setup um, when I was doing a normal bullet drill, like a paper one, and I really liked it. So I'm hoping that this is a nice, a nice one too on the iPad. Last month I did a more filled in look, which was nice, but you know, it's good to switch things up. And these are all four by fives. Part of the reason I love digital bullet journaling is that when you make mistakes, it's super easy for you to just undo and redo. And as a kind of perfectionist, that is nice for me. I feel like I always get that kind of like journal panic about putting down something that is bad. <laughs> you can also see I'm zooming in and out. It's really very easy. So there's my grid. I think I'm gonna try a black and white look this month. And we'll see how I feel about that. You know, Halloween is this month, keep it a little spooky. I did yellow for September. I feel like that's a very back to school color in my mind, but yeah, I kind of didn't want to do orange for Halloween because, I mean, orange just isn't one of my favorite colors. Last year, I actually also posted a bullet journal video. That was a paper bullet journal, and it was when I was studying abroad in Taiwan. Um, and so it's kind of funny to go back and watch that. It was a moon theme, which is also kind of funny because um, Amanda Rachley just did a moon theme this year and it kind of reminded me of what I did last year. Okay. Now I'm gonna shift this all up. I just put it down here for spacing purposes. Okay. This is the beauty of the digital bullet journal. You can move things. One of my favorite things about it. Nothing is super locked in place. Okay. And that is my monthly overview. So next I'm going to do a habit tracker. We'll start with this line, which I'm gonna put all of the numbered days in. I've been having a lot of fun with kind of finding creative ways to make my digital bullet journal spreads different because it is kind of easy to get in a copy paste mode with this because you can copy paste so easily. But I think there's still so much room for creativity. So on months when you're feeling like you wanna do more, you definitely can. And then when you're feeling like, oh, I really just need to have my planner set up but I don't have the time or mental space, you can copy paste from the last month. And I actually did a different habit tracker last month. 
So for this one, I decided to go back to how I used to do it. No real reason. I'm gonna go back to my old bullet journal and I'm going to pull the habits I was tracking from there. This is from August and I switched over to a different journal um, so that I could have something fresh for the new school year. But these were the habits I was tracking before, so I'll just kind of look through and see if those are the same ones I wanna keep tracking. And I think yes. So that makes it really easy. We'll just add another line here, pull it over here a little more. Alright, and now we have our October habit tracker set up. Just like that. Um, so now let's see, what else do I want in here? I guess we might as well move right into our weekly spreads. I already kind of drew it out so that I could copy paste it. So I have the same grid type thing from the monthly page and then I also have my weekly schedule with the hours marked out um, so that I can keep good track of all my classes and different events that I'm going to throughout the week. So I'm going to drop that there and I copy paste that for each week of the month. So this is part of where it's like just ridiculously convenient to use the digital because you're not having to write it out each time. So having that blank kind of canvas is really nice. And then I go back through, I'm just gonna do one bar across to make it a little easier for myself. And I can copy paste that as well and put that on each of these. And then we go back again. <laughs> And we fill in the actual days. This is actually still September here. And then we go into October. Claire. <laughs> I know, I made a face at your video already. <laughs> Good. <laughs> all right, now we've got our dates all drawn in, and then my final touch is I like to add a little thing for um, to do, doing, done for each week. And I just do it this way so that I get the spacing right. All right, I think we've done it. October is set up. So we have our monthly page, a habit tracker, and then all of my weekly pages. And that's it. I usually add more pages throughout the year, or year, throughout the month. Um, so like random little journaling pages and different things like that. But this is what I usually start with every month. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how I set up my digital bullet journal, and if you did, give it a like. If you really liked it, you can subscribe. I'll probably be making more of these in the future. So yeah, bye! <laughs>